Hello friends, this is Math Guru Pawan Wa. Our today's topic is Similarity Part 2. Today we will solve some examples of exercise 1.1. The first question, in figure segment BE is perpendicular on segment AB and segment BA is perpendicular on AD. There are two triangles you can see and this part, this BA is the height of both the triangles. So it has a common height. Okay, and it is given that BE is 6 and DE is 9. BE is 6 and AD or DA is 9. We have to find the ratio of the area of triangle ABE and triangle PAD. Means what we have to do? We have to find the ratio of the areas of the both the triangles. What is given? Segment BE is perpendicular on AB. And in this triangle, BAD triangle, segment BA is perpendicular on AD. Now, what we have to find? We have to find the area of triangle ABE upon the area of triangle BAD. This triangle ka area upon this triangle ka area humko nikalna. Means we have to find out the ratio of the areas of the both the triangles. Okay. Now, solution. In triangle ABE, in triangle ABE and BAD, okay, they are having equal heights or you can say common height. Hence, the ratio of the areas of the two triangles with the common or same height is equal to the ratio of their corresponding bases. This we have learned in our, our previous video, ki jab bhi do triangles ka hum ratio lete hai, aur agar उन दोनों ट्रायंगल्स की हाइट इक्वल हो या कॉमन हो तो उस केस में उनका जो रेशो होगा एरिया का जो रेशो होगा वो उनके बेसिस के रेशो के इक्वल होगा सो विल राइट फर्स्ट एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल एबीई अपॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्रायंगल बीएडी दैट इज बी1 अपॉन बी2 सो क्या बेसिस है इनके इसका बेस है बीई और इसका बेस है एडी सो विल राइट बीई अपॉन एडी एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ बीई इज 6 एंड वैल्यू ऑफ एडी इज 9. It will be cancelled by 3. We will get 2 upon 3. Or we can say 2 ratio 3. In this way, we can find out the ratio of the areas of the two triangles when height is same. Now, in second question here, in figure, SP is perpendicular on YK and YT is perpendicular on SK. SP is given 6, YK is given 13, yt is given 5 and tk is given 12 what we have to find out we have to find out the area of s y k and ratio area of y t k matlab ye pure triangle ka area upon ye triangle ka area hame nikalna hai we have to find out the ratio of these two triangles so first of all we had given sp is perpendicular on yk and yt is per perpendicular on sk abhi sp is given 6 yk is given 13 yt is given 5 and tk is given 12 so let us write the value here sp is 6 hmm? then yk is 13 then yt is 5 and tk is 12 what we have to find we have to find the ratio of area of syk the area of triangle syk upon the area of triangle ytk okay here in solution we can write the ratio of the areas of the two triangles is equal to the ratio of the product of their bases at corresponding heights. जब भी हम दो triangles के area का ratio निकालते हैं तो वो equal होता है उनके corresponding bases और heights के product के equal. Okay, so what we can write? We can write the area of triangle SYK upon area of triangle YTK is equal to B1 into H1 upon B2 into H2. B1 kya hai? B1 is the base of the first triangle and H1 is the height of the first triangle. So what is the first triangle? SYK. So SYK is the base of YK or height hogi SP. So let us write the value YK into SP. And for the second triangle, the base is here. We can write TK is the base and TY is the height. Okay. Now what we will do? We will put the value here. Value of YK is 13 and SP is 6. So 13 into 6 and value of TK is 12 and this TY is 5. So 12 into 5. 
this 12 wicket cancel by 6 2 times we will be having 2 here so 13 upon 2 into 5 means 13 upon 10 means you can write 13 ratio 10 also so area of the 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 ratio of the areas of these two triangle is equal to 13 ratio 10 let us solve next question in figure d e f here you can see it's a triangle d e f and g e d e f and g e f here d h is perpendicular on e f and g k is perpendicular on e f d h is given 12 g k is given 20 and the area of d e f is given 300 we have to find the three values e f g e f and the area of this whole quadrilateral so for what we will do let us write first given that d h is perpendicular on e f and g k is perpendicular on e f ye pehli baat hogi okay and the sides are given d h is 12 d h is 12 g k is 20 so let us write the value here 12 and 20 and we have given the area of the, this triangle that is d f okay d f ka hume area de ke rakha hai so now we will solve we will find out the first thing that is what we have to find ef we have to find we have to find the area of triangle gf we have to find and we have to find the area of this quadrilateral is quadrilateral ka hum area kaise nikalenge simple hai that area of this triangle we have given okay in second condition when we will find the area of gf to hum kya karenge ye first ka first triangle ka area plus second triangle ka jab hum area karenge in dono ko jab hum add karenge first triangle plus the area of first triangle plus the area of second triangle so we'll get the area of this quadrilateral okay now solution ef hum sabse pehle ef nikale what is given we know that the area of triangle def is 300 cm square per square cm df kya hai the agar aap se baat agar pucha jaye what is the area of the triangle so we know that it's 1 upon 2 into base into height and what is base base is ef and height is dh is equal to 300 now what we will do is this two we will shift this side and it will be ef into dh is equals to 300 into 2 dh ki value hai 12 let us put 12 here this 12 will go here in the denominator it will be 600 upon 12 and that will be 50 centimeter so ef ki length ho gai 50 centimeter now we will find out the area of gef to find the area of gef we know that we are having this base now ef hamare paas abhi hai ab we have find out the value of ef and we are having this height also means hamare paas base bhi hai aur hamare paas height bhi hai so what we can write 1 upon 2 the area of gf is equal to 1 upon 2 into base into height and what is base base is ef and height is gk ef into gk ef ki value hamare paas thi 50 aur ye hai 20 so 50 into 20 this two we can cancel it 10 times and we'll be having 10 into 50 that is 500 centimeter square abhi baat hoti hai ki aapko iska area nikalna hai to this is the one method abhi ek aur tarika hai ki hum iska area nikale actually we are here we are studying the properties of the ratio of the areas of the triangle to agar hum usi cheez ko use kare ki agar hum aisa likhe ki in triangle df and gf both are on the same base that is ef okay to hence the ratio of the areas of the two triangle with the same base is equal to the ratio of their corresponding heights so if we have the ratio of the area of the both then their height ke ratio will equal aega. okay so area of triangle df upon area of triangle gf is equal to h1 upon h2 so how much is h1? first of all we have df value it is given so 300 we can write here 300 upon gf and h1 is h1 is our dh and h2 is gk so 300 upon area of triangle GF is equal to DH ki value hai 12, 12 upon 20. Now cross multiply 20 ko edar bhejo, is 12 ko edar bhejo ab. So you will be having area of triangle GF is equal to 300 into 20 upon 12. And when we will solve it, we get 25 into 20. Okay, means 12 ke table mein agar aap 300 ko divide karte ho 12 se, you get 25. Okay, and then when you multiply you get 500 centimeter square means dekhi aap ya to aap is method se solve kare ya fir aap is method se solve kare whatever you do it's correct but i feel ki jab hum in property ki study kar rahe hain to we should follow this second method okay now we have to find the area of this quadrilateral d f g e 
okay and the area of dfge is equals to one of uh, area of triangle df plus area of triangle gf for df hai 300 plus 500 that is 800 square centimeter to is tarah se hum question solve kar sakte hain it's a very simple way thank you for watching this video please watch our next videos thank you very much